Good morning. Today it is Thursday, August 25th. The year is 2022. It's a beautiful rainy day here in Georgia. Well, it was raining. I don't think it's raining anymore, but it was raining. I'm sitting here having a cup of coffee. Coffee's hot. Yeah, nice and hot. Uh, there was an incident that happened in Chicago. I did a video about, about three young men being um, killed when a car ran them over when they were, uh, left a nightclub and were in the middle of the street fighting. They haven't made an arrest in that incident, which I figured they would make an arrest. The Chicago police, police would just be very quiet about it. They knew who it was pretty much within a few hours of that incident. Um, he turned himself in, and he here's the killer part. Literally, the killer, the killer part. The killer was gay. There was all this talk about this possibly being a hate crime by someone who didn't like gay people. Well, I guess it was a hate crime. Technically, it was a hate crime by a gay man who didn't you know, like other gay folks, obviously. You all learned something a long time ago about the gay community. And that's why I tend to keep my distance from a lot of these guys. And I always tell people to be very careful when they're out and about dealing with gay men. There's a whole hell of a lot of mental illness to unpack with the gay community. There's a ton of self-hatred within the gay community. They hate themselves. There's a lot of confusion, chaos. There's a lot of drugs, drinking, anger. That's why you see all these gay guys fighting like wild animals. And when that young man walked out that bar and made the decision to get in that car and run him over, he did it out of hate. Hate and despise for the people he was around. Now, from what I've read, the guy who did this wasn't even in a, any, any type of fight or anything inside that club when he made that decision to get into his car and run and, and kill those people like he did. He'd already served prison time before for this. So, I'm going to pause this for one second. This, this is my doctor's office. And I am back. So, they made an arrest, this guy. Chicago, he, um, he, he ran those guys over and killed them. And he, arrested, and he turned himself in. Here we go. Oh, Grace, and I let him run around. First, he had a bone he was chewing on peacefully over here. And I even found a little toy. This is a little doggy. Um, he was arrest arrested. The young man's name was Tavis Dunbar. He served prison time before. Uh, Tavis Dunbar, 34, was arrested Monday and charged with three counts of first degree murder and one count of first degree attempted murder. You have to wonder what was going on in this man's head. Brown said an investigation showed that Dunbar intentionally intentionally struck multiple pedestrians as he plowed his car into a group of people fighting outside of Jeffrey Pub on August on Chicago South Side at 5 a.m. on August the 14th. Brown called the incident a senseless act of violence and said he hopes the rest will bring a sense of closure to the loved ones. You know, when they inspected the car, the end of the... Get your man over here. Give me that. I have to be, give me that. Give me, it just interrupted my show here. Yeah. There, now you go through on something else. All right, so as I was saying, Oh, excuse me, you have children, bad kids running around. They gave him a bone to chew on. That damn bone he was chewing on. He was chewing it away outside the video. Brand new. Anyway, the gas pedal, the gas pedal was completely deployed to the ground. He never attempted to tap the brakes when this incident occurred. Never hit the brakes. He was the accelerator was under He purposely he was going sixty miles per hour when he hit the people. The de detectives found that Dunbar was in the bar before the incident. He was in that bar, but said there was no evidence that he got into a fight or argument with anyone before he left. He didn't even have no confrontation with anybody. They got the video. 
Um, this man was sick. Y'all, I've been around the gay community for a long, 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 long fucking time. These motherfuckers, here he come. These guys, these guys is unfortunate. But a lot of these guys have some serious mental health issues, y'all. And and if you don't, if you're not careful, you can get caught up in their foolishness, and you could end up harmed or killed. I've seen some crazy stuff happen amongst gay people, and it frightened me to a point where I said, me and my mother used to discuss this when I was much younger, and she would say, well, Walter, even when she was younger, gays would attack and, and harm each other and stab and shoot each other back then. I was like, I didn't understand what was going on. Why are they doing this stuff? You would think we all would have been getting along just fine, but that wasn't the case. And this has, in recent years, spiraled into something even worse. Say bye bye. Even worse, where people are running around here, um, where this man jumped in that car for no reason other than hatred in his heart towards someone who looked like him and who was gay, and decided to harm these people. And it could have been maybe, maybe somebody didn't talk to him. Maybe he didn't get, you know, maybe he tried went to talk to somebody and got turned down or something. Maybe he was just drunk. Maybe just an evil person. I never even said what, why this man chose to, to run down three people. Now, so for, for all these reasons, and I keep my distance. I learned a long time ago because so many gay people have this these mental health issues going on. I keep my distance. I do. You befriend them. And what I mean by keep my distance, I keep them at a distance. You befriend them, you become friends with them, they call themselves liking you. You might even know, I didn't even know that this person likes you. And this could possibly happen. Here we go again. This could possibly happen in a gay or, hey, come here. Come here. Where that bone I gave you? I should lock his ass up. He might want to adopt this doggy. Gave him a nice bone that you own, but now he, he just determined he's going to make noise. They know you here. They know you are here. They hear you. You don't have to make all that squeaky noise. In fact, I must grab the turkey and just wait for I can grab the turkey and run for it. But anyway, I've learned to keep my distance from these gay guys because they are so dangerous. And they do things, foolish things. Hold on, let me write a story. Eat it! God, that's good squeaky toys. You want to be making out the noise. And you go to, here's the bone I gave you. Where'd it go? There's another one to do with the damn bone. He ran off with it somewhere. He likes to hide his little bones under the table in the, in the, in the dining room, in the living room. You're speaking to such. I need today is Thursday. I need to. <sighs> but anyway, I have learned that these guys, you have to be careful. You might think someone is your friend. And you're just befriending them. I've had this happen. But they call themselves actually in their head, they're romantically attracted to you. But you don't know. You can think y'all friends. And boy, this shit can go left real fast if you're not careful. It can go left real quick. You'll be in the club talking to somebody you're interested in, and you with your friend that you think y'all friends and stuff, y'all went to the club together, but this person think y'all done went to the club together as a couple, but you don't know what the fuck is going on in their head. I've had this happen multiple times before I said, okay, and <laughs> no more of this. Um, I started to be very selective about who I want to be as friends, and I made it clear, we're just friends. No more than that. And I had this happen so many times that it got to the point, y'all, I'm very leery of dealing with gay guys because they have these ulterior motives that you may not understand, and I've had this happen so many times, several instances that went on for years decades and they were friends but in the, underneath the surface they had in there they, they were and in, in these people when they have this attraction to you they do some very horrible things to you but they call themselves liking you i never understood it so i've learned to just keep my distance and be careful. Now this guy, this young man who ran these folks over, he served prison time before for violent acts. Twice he said he's also, I'm trying to remember, I read something that said I think he hits, used another car as a weapon against somebody. 
Um, he served two years in prison for beating his brother with a baseball bat and choking him. And then he gets back out, and now he's moving on to murder. You have to wonder what, now, and I bet you 10 billion bucks. I bet you a billion dollars that when that young man was a little kid in school, they knew that there were problems with him. And they were probably trying to get him on some type of medication to help him. And his family probably turned him down because I know y'all don't like to take medications. These kids in these schools are so out of control. And when these schools try to put them on some type of medication to calm them down, you all are so anti-medication that these folks go through life thinking, you know, they can un with their mental health issues undealt with. There's good medicine that could be worked to resolve some of these mental health issues when y'all know niggas don't want to take it. And you don't want to give it to your children who desperately need it. So, funny story, I was eating Kroger a day ago. I was up at Kroger getting some groceries and I saw an older guy walking with a limp, pushing the buggy out the store. He stopped me and said, man, you look like you work out and you're in pretty good shape. We started talking. Long story short, this man was the exact same age as me. He was 52, but he looked 72. He had had a stroke uh, some time ago. He had been overweight. He had had high blood pressure, didn't take his medications. Um, and I listened to him talk for, we talked for a little while. And I asked him, why didn't you take the medication? He said, I just didn't want to take him. You know, I was, he didn't want to take the blood pressure medication. Let him have this massive stroke. Um, 52 years of age. After he had the stroke, of course, he lost 100 pounds. Because he was steady. He was 5'9". He weighed 307 pounds. I'm close to 300 pounds. He was overweight. I ever saw this man. You just swore he was in his 60s or 70s. He was the same age as me. It was just shocking because we stayed, I'm standing there next to him. And we're talking. I had just come from the gym. And at the same time, in the midst of our conversation, he was still talking about that when he got out of the hospital, they had him all these medicines, and he's getting off this medicine, and he's gonna stop taking the blood pressure medicine. I said, wait a minute. Why are you gonna stop taking the blood pressure medicine when, in fact, you had a stroke because you wouldn't take the blood pressure I don't, medicine? I don't understand. I said, how long have you had, how long have you known? You had high blood pressure. He said, oh, when I was in the military. I was thinking, I'm thinking, so in your 20s, you knew this, but you chose not to take these medications, which then ended up causing you to have a stroke. Figure that one out. Anyway, I just thought that was an interesting story because I know y'all motherfuckers hate medicine, hate medicine, hate medicine, hate medicine, hate medicine. But anyway, This man who ran those folks down, I will bet you that, that if you go back over his life story, this man has had severe mental health issues that his family knew about. I saw a video of a shootout in Chicago. That was on Twitter a day ago. You can pay me a million dollars to live in Chicago, not on, not around them niggas. Hell fucking no. They were just shooting, shooting, people running wild. I'm like, what is that? It's like it was a movie or something. But it wasn't a movie, it was actually a real live event. You know, running wild over there and people shooting, y'all couldn't pay me money living in the amongst them niggas in Chicago. I know how they get down in Chicago. So them crazy, them niggas crazy out there in Chicago. I mean, they are literally insane. So the death murder rate is so high, they don't give a fuck about no life down there in Chicago, your life, their life, and nobody else's life. I keep away from that foolishness. And this is another one of them crazy fools. This is a, just another crazy nigga who just didn't use a gun. He used a car to kill three people. In the streets of Chicago, this is the nigga deal 2.0 also. Chicago has always been known as a city for years, the past, at least the past 20 years, as a deadly city for black folks. That Chicago can be a beautiful looking city. But it's definitely a deadly city. Y'all can keep Chicago. I don't even visit there no more. I said, oh, no, I ain't going to Chicago. If I do go to Chicago, I'm going to stay in some clean, pristine areas. I'm not going nowhere near you niggas. So I already know how that shit going to work out. I already know. Oh, Creighton Barrel's always sending me these damn texts. I need to 
I need to stop blocking all these texts and emails. Anyway, uh, today is about 10.30. I'm going to conclude the video so I can get dressed and get out of here and go to the gym today. I missed it yesterday. But yeah, they arrested the man. Turns out he was a gay guy. Mm, Lord, there's a lot to unpack there. But it really ain't a lot to unpack because uh, knowing what I've known about my 30 plus years dealing with gay men, I was not surprised that there was a gay man who made that decision to get in that car and mow them three brothers down like that. Gay black man too. Now, now we got our answers. Will we ever know why he did it? Probably not. But anyway, today is Thursday, August 25th. I just wanted to do a video and explain he did arrest the guy. So, because some of you can get a conclusion, you can Google the story. Today is Thursday, August 25th, the year 2022. And I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of your beautiful, wet Thursday.